so today you're not getting any crazy edits because of fallen sick today i'm just going to make a video of me sitting in bed and talking to the camera and i think i fallen sick at a great time because i really need to calm the fuck down like every time i have some free time i think नहीं मुझे कुछ ना कुछ तो करना चाहिए आई शुड गो आउट आई शुड डू दिस आई शुड गो शॉपिंग एंड वॉट नॉट एंड अरे एंड आई जस्ट कांट इट्स द इट्स द इट्स इट्स फिफ्टींथ डिसम्बर टूडे एंड Honestly, a great time to start researching for Christmas gifts. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the top ten things you can give to your friends, family as Christmas gifts. I think ten days is enough time to make a decision and order, and for the order to come to your place, for you to pack it and finally give it to someone by Christmas. Full marks to me for making this video at the right time, and full marks to you for watching this video at the right time. <laughs> We believe in an equal world, hence I'm only going to suggest a few unisex gifts. The first gift, ladies and gentlemen, one gift you can never go wrong with. Socks make for such a great gift. There are quite a few uh, socks gift boxes on Amazon that you can look at. If you really want to gift someone a pair of premium socks, this is what I would uh, recommend because uh, I was gifted a pair of uh, premium socks from this website. It's the Rip and Dip sock. Moving on. <laughs> next next item next item that you should probably gift someone the the easiest way you can help a 20 something out who's living on their own i believe is helping them out in the kitchen and i'm not saying help them out by being there with them in the kitchen but actually gifting them something that could make their decision making faster which is why the next suggestion is a toaster i am a heavy believer in toasters and grillers but i know a grilling machine requires two slices of bread to of course make a sandwich and often i find a sandwich to be very bready when i make it at home so i'm more fond of toasts like an open face toast the toaster that i recommend i really like this toaster it's by philips look at the color it's so nice can you stop like yelling Thank you. Moving on to the next gift. I think I think coffee makes for a great great gift. And uh, for this gift, I think you actually need to understand what is the kind of coffee they prefer. Like if they are a French press person, if they are an Aeropress person, if uh, they just like instant coffee. I mean, you kind of need to do some research before proceeding with this gift. <laughs> you kind of need to do some research before you proceed with this gift but i think it's a great option nonetheless uh the coffee that i would currently recommend is sleepy owl sleepy owl has a bunch of uh, it has a good product range that um, is great for people who are you know yet to find what's their signature flavor so you can give them an assorted box of uh, coffee uh that you know they can try out and figure out what their favorite flavor is uh you can give them a bunch of these things so they can figure out you know what exactly is that they like to gift number 4 um something that i think is uh, a really great investment for any adult any 20 something is a great sunscreen i think gifting someone a good sunscreen because i believe sunscreen is an investment and a gentle reminder that hey you know you should 
keep your skin protected. I mean, you don't really have to be a skincare guru to gift someone sunscreen. Uh, I come bearing recommendations. Uh, a sunscreen that I really like is uh, this one by Laneige. <laughs> you can gift your friends for for Christmas is a nice bottle of wine nothing better than sitting with them and actually ranting about either how broke you are how sad you are in your job how less money you have how you hate your landlord how you probably hate your boss what not wine Great way to start a conversation about anything that they've been repressing for a while and what a great gift to give on Christmas. That is the gift of wine and wine. Get it? Stop it. Get some help. The sixth gift. Sixth gift. Sixth gift. Sixth gift that I think makes for a good option is now I know flowers are a very easy way out for people to go about uh, gifting during the festive season um, but what better than actually gifting them a small subscription of flowers which means you don't really give them a gift that dies after a few days you give them a gift that dies again and again I'm kidding uh, now this is only a subscription that's unfortunately in Bangalore, Mumbai, Chennai and Hyderabad. Um, it's this website called uh, Shades of Spring where at like some very decent prices you can gift people flower subscriptions and this company will deliver flowers to them regularly for an extended period of time let's say like three to four months but like I'm honestly a big fan of receiving fresh flowers and if you think you know someone who loves it equally this makes for a great gift we now move on to um, gift suggestion number I forgot a great gift it's something I've gifted other people before as well. It's this thing called Wreck This Journal by this person called Kerry Smith. And essentially all you have to do in this journal is this journal has like simple cues on um, what you should do on certain pages. And Wreck This Journal is precisely its name. You have to completely destroy it. Like there will be a cue on some page to post to paste a few fruit stickers from a fruit that you're eating literally take this page and rub it on the side of the road the idea is literally to destroy the book in the most creative way possible and if you have friends who have some really destructive instincts no better gift than wreck this journal <laughs> If you have a friend who is really fond of skincare and you want to introduce to a good brand for them to figure out whether it works for them or not, um, something that I recommend is um, these combos by The Ordinary on Nykaa. Like I've had my eye on them for a very very long time. It comes with, what does it come with? Let's look. Can you show me what does it come with? Okay, it comes with a cleanser, it comes with a hyaluronic acid and it comes with a natural moisturizing factors. Just call it a moisturizer, now. how difficult is it? Why are you making life so tough for people? Ek to my nose is blocked. Cooper say you'll write, you'll, you'll name your moisturizers as surface hydration formula, natural moisturizing factors. Jesus Christ, just call it a fucking moisturizer. How hard is that? Another great gift that you can give people, I honestly think is candles. My go-to brand for candles is of course Bath & Body Works and mind you, the three wick candles. This one candle, um, on uh, Bath and Body Works is honestly my favorite. 
the mahogany teak wood it looks like a black candle and it's so good it's so good i've never ever smelled anything like that but then again that's just my preference if you know someone who's planning to like you know figure out their health goals and um, like is planning on working on their diet is planning on working on their body i mean even if they're not it's always like great to check in with your friends your families and your significant other on what their goals for their health are and something that i recommend this is a protein powder that i use as well it's called the no nonsense protein uh not that xp for the kind of quantity you get and you know some people have a really hard time getting into protein powders but this one honestly tastes like a pre cake mix and it's so good i'm going to link this in the description as well and i think this makes for a great christmas gift if uh, you are someone who's low effort indecisive and don't really know your friends well me <laughs> uh feel free to give them a gift card it could be an urban clap gift card they could get themselves a massage it could be a nika gift card they could get themselves some skin care and makeup it could be an amazon gift card they can go crazy and buy themselves whatever but make sure you do something for your friends and family this christmas and i really hope this list helped you please pay pay for me <laughs> that also but please pray for me that i get better i honestly think stop I honestly think like a block nose has to be the most painful thing like hot people me have to go through <sighs> but with a cold <sighs> you're just <sighs> doing this the whole day and the thing is you try to like take things in and then they come out and then you try to take them in like the fuck dude like <sighs> can my nose just stop running why are you running why are you running I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I get better soon.